I'm going to be angry at the baseball. Hey guys, another video for you. Um, first off, before I show you the cards, I just want to say I couldn't be any happier with the uh, response to my last video. God, I really appreciated all the, the positive comments. It was really nice hearing from from everybody uh, I hadn't heard from in, in you know three three years. I've been really enjoying uh, watching watching you guys' videos too, and, and hanging out in the Facebook group. It, it's been a lot of fun coming back. Uh, so I'll start showing the cards. This one is 2010 uh, Bowman Aflac All American um, Austin Slater. He uh, he was on the minor league spring training club that played the uh, the big club, and uh, he I think he had a home run and a double, and he's been hitting really really well uh, in sp uh, in the minors this year. So figured might as well pick that up. That's his only card right now. Might pick up some more in the future. So uh, it's pretty cool. This is uh, 1994 Leaf slideshow. I have the Griffey in uh, that subset already. Saw the bonds for like 64 cents, so I had to pick it up. That card is amazing. I um, scanned it, came out black and white, so I put another picture, or I'll, I'll put another picture over it so you guys can see uh, the the cool acetate window on there. Let's see. Next up, 2012 Bowman Sterling, Chris Heston. I guess this is the base. I thought it was a blue refractor, um, but he's been our surprise of the season so far. We've been pitching great. Uh, he had a couple rough starts, including his last outing, but uh, he has nasty stuff, and uh, I'll take him as a surprise back of the rotation star, absolutely. So, uh, next up, Kirk Reeder, autograph from 1998 Donruss. Uh, signatures. He is the winningless left-hander in uh, San Francisco Giants history. Hopefully, Mad Bum has a chance to pass it. Looks, it looks like he's uh, he's going to. So, let's see. Uh, this is the base uh, top stack Buster Posey. I'm thinking about doing the rainbow. It's not very likely that I'll actually finish it, but um, I really like the looks of those cards. So I'll definitely be picking up more parallels, including the next one. This is the uh, the grid. I accidentally bought two of those on CheckOutMyCards.com. I got a really good deal on the other one and then overpaid on the second because I didn't realize I had it in my cart. So that happens. Always check the cart before you check out, I guess is, is what, I'm, what I'm saying. <laughs> Next up for the uh, 2001 Fleer Greats of the Game Giants autograph set. Whoops. Whoa, almost threw it. <laughs> Willie McCovey. Um, I uh, I lost an auction on that one. They don't pop up very often. I lost an auction uh, because I had a, a top dollar that I was willing to spend on that that I've been sticking to for a couple months and uh, lost on the auction. Really bummed, and it, it went o only a couple dollars over. I was like, why didn't you just go for it? But uh, next day, someone put one up, buy it now, or best offer. I shot them my top price, and uh, I got it for cheaper than the one the day before. So that was that was awesome. Next up, this is a set completion as well. 1934 Diamond Stars Bill Terry. It's a PSA 1. This card is amazing. It has some staining on the back and uh, some pretty rough creases, but um, it doesn't come through to the, the front of the card as far as visual uh, appeal. So it's it looks great for PSA 1. That's the most valuable of all the Giants in the set. So that one came up. Uh, really, really happy to get it. it. It looks great. The 34 Diamond Stars set is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys are team collectors like me, and that you have a couple guys on that set, could not recommend anymore because they look they look even better in person than they do in scans. Next up, um, this is a rookie that I've been wanting since uh, since it came out. Nineteen or er, nineteen, uh, two thousand ten tops Chrome ra uh, wrapper redemption uh, Buster Posey Green Refractor. So for those of you not aware, uh, in 2010 when you bought a box of Topps Chrome, you sent all the wrappers away to Topps and they sent you a single pack with uh, Top. You were guaranteed a rookie refractor, um, just base, uh, regular refractor um, of either Jason Hayward, Strasburg, Buster Posey, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, maybe like Chris Coughlin, who was big or I'm just totally wrong on that, but um, uh, it might have been Mike Stanton, now Giancarlo Stanton, just rambling at this point. But anyways, uh, the green was a uh, tougher pull, and uh, 
got that one on checkoutmycard.com uh, for it was on sale. Made it, might have overpaid a bit, but um, had to get it. It was it, it's a nice looking card. A lot of those are off centered horribly, so I I picked that one up just because the good centering on it. Um, and this one is my first Barry Bonds autograph, 2000 Fleer Tradition, uh, five time MVP. <coughs> Barry Bonds bat autograph. Uh, had to go with um, Chad Thundering Twenty Four school of thought on this one, where um, I wanted a Bonds autograph and I wanted it to be game use and auto. So um, found this one in my local card shop and I got it at eBay price, which was amazing. Um, I really really like the looks of that card. I'm very happy to pick up. Like I said, that's my first Bonds uh, autograph and. Uh, looks amazing I have it displayed right now so uh, thank you guys so much for watching oh before I forget um, if since I've been out of the game for a little while is there um, any big youtubers collecting giants I'd love to start watching their videos so uh, if if there's somebody that I don't know of I'd really appreciate you guys linking them down below so I could check it uh, check out their channels always like meeting new giants collectors fellow giants collectors and uh, just new friends in general I guess so uh, thank you guys again so much for watching I really appreciate it have a good one.